All right, today we're gonna to be working on the Motorola Droid Turbo. First of all, make sure that the phone is off before you start working on it. Secondly, you have to take off the back of the phone and it is kind of adhered to the frame of the phone. The easiest way I found to take off the back is to take your fingernail and slide it between the power button and the screen and then slide it up a little bit and that leaves you just enough room that you can take your pry tool, stick it between there and pop off the rest of the class all the way around the back side. It was a little bit easier using that red pry tool that has a little lip on it and that got all the clasps undone. Once the clasps are undone, you can just pry away the back a little bit. Be super careful though, because there is the QI charger and that is adhered to the back of the frame. It doesn't matter if you leave that adhesive on the frame or on the QI charger itself, it's not super important either way. I left mine on the back cover, as you can see here. You can also see that the contact points for the LED lights are on the back cover, and that's what turns on the flash for the camera. Here is the plastic bracket. It's kind of like a spacer for the battery to make sure it doesn't jiggle around inside of the phone. Um, a lot of times you can just unclip the battery and that's like taking the battery out of your phone and that'll fix a lot of software issues you have. So if your phone is ever freezing or anything like that, just unplug the battery, plug it back in and you should be fine. Now here's the QI charger. I'm gonna pry it away from the battery really quick and I'll go a little more in depth on that a little bit later in the video. Here's a screwdriver. I will link all the tools and parts you'll need down in the video description below. Most of these screws, the four along the top, are T5 screws. So I'm gonna take all those out and that removes the plastic bit. You can see here that the gold contact points for the vibrator motor and the headphone jack are up here and you can see these little gold points where they just rest up against the board. And I think this is super interesting. I'll talk a little bit more about that later in the video. Um, it's kind of redundant how many connections they have that control these parts. There's four screws along the bottom and then also make sure to take out that SIM card slot just so you don't damage it when you're trying to lift up the motherboard from the frame of the screen. Once the motherboard is up, you can see the LCD connection is under one of these little wire cables. You lift up the little white flap and then the ribbon cable will just unplug. There is a piece of tape along the top, so make sure you remove that as well and the ribbon cable will just slide right out. Pretty straightforward. That removes the motherboard and battery from the screen. So here's the screen. If you do break your screen, like the glass or the LCD, you will need to remove it from the frame of the screen, unless you can find a frame, LCD, and glass sold in one piece. That would be the ideal situation. But if you can't find them all together, you're gonna have to remove the frame from the glass and the LCD. And then once you have your new piece, you're just gonna have to adhere it back into the old frame, and then you can put your phone back together again. Pretty straightforward, but the ideal thing is to just buy them all glued together in one piece. I will link parts down in the video description below, so if I find them all in one unit, I'll let you know. Here's the QI charger. It is connected to the back of the motherboard, kind of with one of those little Lego connections. Just pop that off. And then since I've already released the QI charger, you know, taken off all that adhesive with my pry tool, it just pops off from the edge of the battery. The battery itself is glued into the frame. So I'm just gonna take my pry tool and pry that out of there. And then the battery lifts out away. There is some really fragile black tape underneath. Not a super big deal. Just kind of lay it flat if you end up scraping it off the motherboard. And then here is that really weird connection that I was talking about before. It's almost like Motorola was like, oh, hey, we designed this phone and oh, we forgot the vibrator motor and the headphone jack. So we're gonna take this ribbon cable with connection points and plug it into the motherboard and then the connections will just rest on top of it. Usually when you see a phone, it'll have the connection points right on the motherboard so you have not so much redundancy and loss of signal. I would imagine that the signal clarity through the headphone jack isn't ideal because it has to go through two connections instead of one. Here is the front-facing and rear-facing camera. I believe they're a 2 megapixel and a 21 megapixel. Kind of nice. And then you can see the water indicator as well right there. Now we're going to take the battery, set it back down, and put the QI charger back on top of that as well. Plug it in first, and then you can just line it back up on top of where it was before. Remember, I will try to find replacement parts and put those down in the video description. Now getting the motherboard plugged back into the screen, make sure that there's no tape on it and plug it all the way back into that socket latch it down again, and then put the tape over the top of that. So if you ever drop your phone, the latch won't come undone and your screen will stop working. So make sure that connection is good and tight. Now connect the battery back down. Just make sure the little pins line up with the battery connection and the motherboard and just clip it down just like a little Lego piece. Get that black pad over the top of the earpiece and get those four screws back into place. They're the T5, remember that. Also get those four screws down at the bottom back into place. Get that spacer placed over the battery to make sure it doesn't jiggle around. And then the back, make sure you slide that the bottom part with the charging port first, and then clip it all the way around the outside. The SIM card back into place, and you're good to go. 
Thanks a ton for watching. Hope I was able to help you out in some way. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like if this video helped you, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out my Instagram. I promise I do more fun things than just taking apart cell phones. Thanks for watching.